So I what? Fastajibu. Fastajibu. Allah says. Fastajibu. Allah says. Fastajibu. See, the only word that I know is Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Mashallah. Mashallah. Yeah. And that's it. Allah says in the Quran, Fastajibu lillahi wa rasulih. Answer Allah and His Messenger. You know the prayer as well because you used to do it with Abu Bakr, innit? Yeah, and yeah. I did it with someone. But listen, you said yeah, you're, you have Christian belief in you because. Also, I grew up, no, the reason why is because, like, my brother grew up with my mom's side, so he's more Muslim because okay. my mom's side of the family, that's like, yeah. whereas I grew up with my dad's Dad, side, yeah. that's like Christianity yeah. all the way. Okay. But what's your but belief? I'm Forget not, them. I'm not biased, I'm just stuck You're in open the minded. I'm You're open minded. minded. Okay, do you believe in Islam that... God is God, or do you believe Jesus is God? That's the difference. God is God. If Thank Jesus you. Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah, but, but God is God. Like what? what did you get it? God is God. God is God. Then you're Muslim. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and Jesus, not Trinitarian. Jesus is the Son of God. Huh? Yeah. So you're Muslim. What does it mean by the Son? So you're Muslim. You don't what worship do you Jesus. Do you worship Jesus? I worship God. Good. So it's time. Yeah, this is what I was saying, yeah? Fastajibu. Jesus is the Son of lillahi wa rasulihi. Answer Allah and His Messenger. Ida da'akum ila ma yuhikum. To what? That which gives you life. Islam is what gives you life. It's where your heart is at peace. Prophet Muhammad said, Is there not a flesh, a mudra, fi jasadak, in your body? If it is sound, the whole body is sound. And if it is not sound, then the body is not sound. He said, what else can that piece of flesh be except for the heart? Where does your heart find peace? In worshipping God Almighty or other than God Almighty? You know? What my dream is with me and some of our Muslim friends, yeah? all we wanted to do is go to Saudi Arabia to see the Mecca. Mashallah. Mashallah. Allah, Allah, Allah give it to you. you know? Yo. <laughs> it's good. She's, she's doing good, mom. She's doing so, so good. I don't mom. fault her. I, just yeah. leave, I leave her with my boyfriend here because my boyfriend uh -huh. is Muslim. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, I so, what are you waiting for, sister? No, I said, say, once he marries me, yeah, I'll convert. Yeah, yeah, but look, you know some. Tell your dad. Tell your dad to marry this woman. Oh, okay. Yeah, your mom, sorry. Tell your dad, dad, marry mom. Give mom no, her hug. Because my boyfriend's dad, but her real dad is Christian. Okay. So, give mom a hug. Okay. Give mom a hug. 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 Give so when I started going out with my boyfriend, she started off calling him Uncle Daddy. And then my boyfriend said, which one do you want to first, Uncle Daddy or Daddy? So they, she said Daddy. So from then, it's just been Daddy. So Listen, give her a hug, her right as a child, yeah? That's why I... Make him, says, make, tell him, says, tell him, my right on says, you is that you make me a wife. Tell him that, you make me a wife. And then there's no barrier for you accepting Islam anyway. But some people they used to, you know, when the Prophet Muhammad peace and best be, uh, be upon him died, yeah. Some people uh, say that the Prophet Muhammad has died and they left Islam. Allah in, this, in the Quran says, "Wa ma Muhammad illa Rasul." Muhammad is only a messenger. Qad khalat min qablihi, and indeed have passed before the Prophet Muhammad messengers. Who, and then Abu Bakr, when he heard that some people are leaving Islam because Muhammad peace and blessing uh, uh, passed away, yeah, he said. Whoever worship Allah, whoever worship Muhammad, know that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi is dead. But whoever worship Allah, know that Allah is al-hayy, he is alive. We do not worship Allah for a man. 
we do not worship Allah even for the Prophet Muhammad says according to this uh, had, uh, this uh, the ayah in the Quran. We worship Allah because Allah is Allah Al Hay. He is all uh, ever living. So we don't take accept Islam for man, woman, this and that. Do it because it is the truth. One for mother, one for daughter. Yeah? Mashallah. I, I think, you know, no, 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 Talked about yeah. Islam because she knows in her heart this is where the and, truth is. And not is. only that, now you're a Muslim, you have to be ten times more nicer to your mother. Ten times nicer. Do you understand? Where is Jannah? Jannah? Jannah. Jannah is heaven beneath the mother's feet. It doesn't mean like it's literally, but it means it means obedience to your mom. Obedience. Do not do not say no, mom, get lost, mom. Nothing. No disrespect. Yeah, to your mother. This is what Islam teaches. Insana? And we have bequeathed unto mankind, we have told mankind, yeah. to your parents, be kind. Oh, yeah. She's going to do her duty unto you. But you have to think of you are not drawing anything on your wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing, I'm drawing on a piece of paper. Like, yeah. My first one, I tried to do Allah and it was fine. Then I did Muhammad. Muhammad. Salam, salam. Yeah. Then it was kind of hard, but I get used to it. Yeah, mashallah, sister. Listen, I, I, I really believe, so wallahi, you know, um, you, you guys should go on a journey together. Yeah. And my sincere advice is do not, like, if anything happens to you, and you believe that knowing Islam is the truth, but you didn't do anything about it, then you're going to miss the opportunity. And um, there's the, the, the saying in the hadith that is, it says that um, when people die and they get raised, they're going to cry to Allah and say, look, you know, um, uh, please send me back to life. I'm going to start praying. I'm going to worship you. I'm going to do this. And by then, it's going to be too late. You understand, my sister? I was born, uh, I mean, I was born into a Muslim family. I'm a Muslim by, by birth, but you know what, I went astray, then I come back to Islam, do you understand? Because I was learning about my Islam, it's teaching me so much valuable stuff. Wallahi, like one of the valuable that I've, I've, been, I've been telling this uh, young lady here, that respect your mother, listen to her, do not d disobey her in any, any kind of way, do not disrespect her, yeah, do not say oof to her, because our Prophet وسلم, said, yeah, whoever disrespects her mother, they would not smell the fragrance of heaven. Paradise. That's how. That's how you know um, uh, our uh, beloved is, is our master. Do you understand? And you two be, being, I mean, I think you should take the shahada, believing that there is only oneness of God, believe in God, and then you study, take day by day. I'm not saying, oh man, you're gonna have to start praying five times a day. You're gonna have to start doing this. You're gonna have to start doing. No, we're not saying that. We're only asking you to take day by day, take a baby step. You understand? Learning about Islam, one thing like this or whatever, then once you get into it, then obviously you start practicing properly. Do you understand? Yeah? Like, you know what? Listen, life is too short. About it. Yeah? Well, what's, it, what's there to think about? Tell me. I don't think about it. Tell me what's there to think about. I don't I can, I, you know, number what I'm saying. Sorry, what's that? Whenever I like, you know, when we're ever on the bus here and I yeah. see a mosque, that my favorite thing yeah. about uh, Muslim areas is. Is that the clothes and the mosque? The mosque is beautiful, as yeah, always. Yeah. And the clothes look beautiful because when I when I get older, <laughs> me and my cousin, we're gonna go on a job shop. Masha shop. Allah. We're gonna get all green. This is this is what I'm like talking about. Get <laughs> yeah. yeah, what? Hijabs. Wouldn't you wouldn't you like your daughter? Well, wait, me, I don't mind her wearing hijabs. She can do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know this girl. Now look, what I'm saying, I'm gonna give you a leaflet about hijab. It teaches you everything. Um, uh, one second. Your pr uh, brother. Uh, no, can I get the... Oh, yeah, I okay. Can I get this? Oh, okay. okay. My sister. There's a, there's, a, there's a copy of the Quran in English. So you can read upon it. And here, look. This is it. You want to have women's right. 
and then we got hijab as well. So all the literature is here, uh, my sister, yeah? About hijab and, uh, look, this is the hijab. Why? Even, even Mary, yeah, the mother of Jesus, she, wore, she, she used to wear full hijab. And this is? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, all right, thank you. This is another river brother. Hello. Yeah. It's yeah. He's a river brother. Why do you think so many people are coming to Islam? It's because they find the truth. I don't think about it. I no worries. No, look, look, my I had sister. I had two Pick teachers this. that were actually Muslim. Oh, mashallah. Wow. I, I thank you very much. Thank you for giving us this wonderful blessing to come in here, taking the shahada. Alhamdulillah. May Allah guide you and keep you on the straight path like all of us. You understand? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my brother. Sorry. If I to ask you, I mean, your daughter, well, the Lord blessed her with the Shahari. profound knowledge yeah. and understanding um, God. What's because in kind of, of, have because you... of my parents, so it's like, if I choose one, if I choose, you know, my, especially my dad, that's like, hmm. What has compelled your daughter to take that step of becoming Muslim? You know why? Listen, listen carefully. We've got the very best concept of God. God is unlike his creation. So God is not a man, he's not a woman, he's not an idol, he's not a statue. Does that make sense to you? You see, God, by his definition, is beyond the universe. God has created the universe, therefore he cannot be like the universe. Are you following what I'm saying to you? Does that make sense? That you're a Christian. Now, for example, the Bible itself teaches God is not a man. Numbers 23, 19, Hosea 11, 9. In Acts chapter 2, verse 22, it makes mention Jesus Christ, a man accredited by God, through whom God did many wonders, works, and signs. So Christ is a conduit. Conduit means a, a go between between God and mankind. Just like, let me ask you, when Moses parted the sea, did Moses do it or did God do it? Well, when he went to the sea with all the animals and all of that. No, no, that's, 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 that's Noah. That's oh, Noah. Sorry. That's right, it's no problem. Uh -huh. What I'm trying to say, it was God doing the act. With the, you remember when the Israelites were being um, yeah, but pursued? He used, but... he used the human form. Pre yes. To... Yeah. No, they're, they're not human form, they are human. But they are prophets and messengers, and Allah helps yeah. them. So, what we basically say, God chooses select people to do his work. Does that make sense? Yeah. Of which we know that they, they are Moses, Abraham. No, they were all prophets make, mentioned in the Old Testament. And did you know that we, we believe that Jesus was a prophet? As Muslims, well, your daughter is now going to believe that Jesus was a prophet. And did you know that is what he says of himself in the Bible as well? Are you aware of this? That Jesus in the Bible, that your mothers believe, that Jesus himself says, I am a prophet. He doesn't go around stating, I am God. He doesn't say, worship me. No, anybody who even says to me that Jesus is God, I just tell them that that's a lie. Excellent. Jesus is not God. Excellent, thank you. But Jesus you know, many Christians. But listen to me now. You're, how, how old is your daughter, if you don't mind me asking? Nine. Nine. Listen, this is for your education. In the Bible, the term son of God literally means one who represents God. It's defined in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. It says the following, and listen carefully. It says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. So anybody who does God's work, they are referred to as a son of God. So in that context, even me or yourself, can be a son of God because yeah. all we're doing so it's in that context so when you said to me oh no Jesus is not God no way Jesus is not God Jesus and then you is said yes yeah, so when we That's say the way so, I look at it. okay now listen to here in Luke chapter 3 verse 38 Adam is referred to as the son of, son God. of God but does that make him God or son of God no. in a literal way no all it means as I've explained to you I hope it's I hope it's resonated all it means is one who represents God at that time young lady when in, in, when Jesus lived in, in a time where Roman and Greek people, they were the prevailing, prevailing power. Okay? And they had this strange concept of man being like God. So that's why you get people like, have you heard of um, Augustus Caesar, for example? Have you done history yet? Okay, when you do history, you'll find that out as well. Have you, do you know about, uh, uh, do you study history at school or? Sick, that's Roman. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Roman history. So what we're talking about is people with, who were high in their position, they were given a title as, as being God. But that doesn't mean they're actually God. It was the language at the time. To give us someone of a high position, like an emperor or a king. 
sometimes he be referred to as God. So again, son of God literally means one who represents God. That's all it means. Does that so make sense? All in a way represents God. Exactly. That's why it says if you do good work to refer to us, those who are referred to as sons of God. Yeah. Just, do you understand what I'm saying? So in, yeah. I hope that you've understood that in that context, Christ would be a son of God. God is the one who represents God. Oh, yeah, I've had this kind of argument with so many people, even with Christians and Muslims. But does it make Why sense it, what I've said, what I've explained? Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, the, the saying that Jesus is, uh, Jesus is God, to me... That's God, nonsense, that, yeah. To me, yeah. that's... Nonsense, yeah. That's not the way it is. Yeah. So when I say that, Christians say, oh, I'm saying that, if I say that, I'm Muslim, and I'm like, no, it's common sense. Good. He's the son of God. He's not God. But remember, in the way we've explained, one who simply represents God. That's it. Put it that way. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, only, so, so, you know, these are interchangeable. You know, son of God, prophet, Messiah, they're interchangeable titles. If someone calls you, he's a brilliant student. Somebody else will say, she's a magnificent student. Other will say, she's a it fabulous. Has the same meaning. Same meaning. So, son of God, Messiah, yeah. prophet, same meaning. So this is what we invite people to Islam. Look, the message of Abraham, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon them. What was that one message? Worship God alone. Is, that makes you a Muslim. That's a step that your daughter has taken. Now she will be required to pray five times a day. You're aware of this, aren't you? So, yeah, when you're learning about Islam. Now, this is how even Chris, this is how people in the Old Testament pray. You have the best mother as well. Yes. Are you listening? Yeah, because she's been, yeah. Even they prayed like we pray. It's mentioned in uh, Nehemiah, yeah, mentioned well, Nehemiah chapter yeah. 8, verse 4 and 6. They bow before God first and then kneel in prostration. It's exactly the way we pray. Yeah. Before we do a little prayer, we have a little wash. We wash our hands, then we wash our feet at the end before washing other parts of the body, including the mouth, cleaning the nose, washing the arms. This is how they prayed in the altar. This is what they did before they yeah. offered the prayer. In lines together, like we pray in line. Worshipping God alone. Man is never God. It, it resonates with your beautiful child. I hope it can resonate with you as well. And if you study the Bible in depth, without any prejudice, you become a Muslim. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. Do you know how? Huh? Are you still thinking about it? That's right, take your time. That's fine. Allah's guided her because Allah's, Allah guides who He wills. Yeah. But one thing to remember, having explained this to you, you've understood the child taking this step. Because it's not for eloquence on the part No, of... she just came out, just out of nowhere, one day she just said to me, she wants to, she wants to be a Muslim. Just out of nowhere. Can I, ask, can, I ask, can I ask you, for your mother, what compelled you to do this? Pardon? Akhi Ayman. Akhi Ayman. Who, yeah. Who's he? He's uh, one of the brothers of the young, or young generation. Oh, I see. Like, uh, All right. You know, brothers who give talks and stuff. Look how blessed your child is. Yeah. Amazing. A nine year old nine who are years. now coming into the stage of their next bodily phase. She's more interested in, in knowing her creator. That's a blessing that you she, should be very. That she, that's. That's a blessing that you should be very, very proud of. That's amazing in yeah. today's climate. She wants to know her. And you know what that is? That's not, when she became Muslim just now, that's not eloquence on the part of the person who spoke to her, but it's something intrinsic yeah. within us, which is the Arabic word for fitrah, to know your creator. Allah has bestowed upon her to know him. The brother's over here on the table, this English brother, right here, standing here. Six weeks ago, he became Muslim, outside Whitechapel Station. Spoke to him, left his belief. Oh, my area. <laughs> oh, from Whitechapel. Uh, this brother over here to his right, he's been Muslim for nearly 30 years. Different phases. You know that brother from Afro-Caribbean background, from Jamaica? The brother over there, Hamza, walking. He's, he's, he's Jamaican? Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 So oh, point... point so wait, okay, it's alright bro, it's alright bro. Where no. you convert? Good question. Brother, can you ask this sister what made you convert made to you Islam? Convert? Tell me about background first, then you tell me. Okay, so my, my background, my, my mum and dad from Jamaica. And I went through like a lot of things, like Rastafari, um, but, but anyway, jump fast forward, my main thing was travelling, I travelled to Ethiopia, when I went to Ethiopia, I did a Christian, then a Muslim, and I see, they're both pretty much similar in terms of how they dress in Ethiopia, yeah, over here I didn't really know what's going on, when I came back here, I needed to buy a Bible, and they tell you that it was actually Christians that I had to thank, what led me to Islam, one of the reasons, 
I bought a, a Bible for like £30 in 1994. You can imagine, like, that was like a week's wages for some people. Wow, yes. Yeah. But while I was in there, they had this thing called Chick Publication. And it looks, it looks like a cartoon, like comic book. Anyway, I, I, I bought one and I read it, and it, it was against the Muslim. It said, um, Allah, Allah, it's called Allah had no son. And it talks about. Um, he had a story. But that's something that I disagree with. Like, but I'm but no, my story. no, I know what you're saying because I argued with my my son said one of my sons said Muslim. So when we talk about Christian, he's always against it, and I'm like, if I don't talk to our son against Islam, why are you talking about against Christianity? Yeah, you should not. Do what you don't want me to do. The thing, to the you. thing is, remember, I'm not Muslim. I don't know nothing about Muslim at this time. Yeah. yeah. But what I found ridiculous about that, not knowing anything about Islam, was um, the story was ridiculous. It was like it was um, a father and a son was walking, and they saw this Muslim praying, and and, the, and the, the son says, "Daddy, Daddy, what's that man doing? Oh, don't worry about him. He's just praying to his moon god, right?" Then by the end of the story, the Arab guy, yeah, he's crying, yeah, and then he becomes Muslim, right? I found that so ridiculous. I said, you know what? I need to find out about this thing called Islam. You see that a lot on social media. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now the thing is, the thing is, had it been more subtle or just based upon the truth and facts, I would not have looked into it. But because of the ridiculous nature of it, yeah. I had to. They make, they make, they, they made, made a mockery. It's interesting, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. And it's yeah. similar to the people now afterwards, 9 11. After 9 11, the amount of people that looked into Islam and actually became a Muslim yeah. is another. Isn't it? it's 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 yeah, it's exponentially went yeah. up, yeah. It just like bang, skyrocket. Yeah? Because people like searching for the truth and they found the truth. That's all I've got to say. Very simple. Very, and, very and my, powerful. My main thing, I just want to say last thing. My main thing is, I've always had this thing that you have to pray straight to straight like yeah. no middle man. Yeah, exactly. I've always had that. I cannot, can't. Yeah. So if they, if I became Muslim and you said, no, you have to go to Muhammad, you have to go to Muhammad. No. I'm not interested. Yes, in yes. Your religion, I'm not yes. Interested. Straight to Allah. See, your, your, I belief, should. your belief is in line with Oh. Why don't you? Because look at a beautiful nine-year-old child. Your child has become Muslim today. It's resonated in our heart. Yeah. It should, and it's made sense to you. We've we explained to you the concept of God. Does that make sense to you? That like you've beautifully said you don't believe that Jesus was God. So you believe in one supreme God who is unlike his creation. God sends messengers, which we've discussed as we've shown over there. Jesus is one who represents God because Son of God literally means one who represents God according to the biblical definition. So this is the message: worship God alone. And it makes sense to, you, to the brother. It makes sense to your. To, what about you? Come on, you can take that step Listen, as well. You know when you're saying you're, you're going to think about it. That's the choice I'm saying took for me. But your heart is no, separately. You, you know what I mean? You That's see, what no, you see me, yeah. If I make a decision right now and yeah. I, my heart is not pulling yeah. into it, yes. it's yes. not going to work. That's fine. Excellent. No, 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 it's no, not going to work. That's why. That's why I said let yeah. me think about it. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, no because even when she said to me, she wants to convert. Yeah. Today, I will hear her singing songs and reading, saying things from the Quran. Mashallah. Yeah. Tomorrow, she'll be singing Christian songs. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not no, necessarily what because saying, what? She's still a kid. No, yeah, I learning. She's that's learning. why I don't that's say nothing because yeah. that's why I just say to her, I'm not going to say anything to you. I'm just going to leave you. Yeah. It's so you will grow up, and then as you're growing up, you're getting older and older. Yeah. And if you still, then be it. But I'm not going to say, okay, because you want to be it, yeah. let's go and start it. And then later on, you come and blame me. Which is which is more of a reason for you to take your shahada and mother and daughter go on a journey together. See, if she goes astray, you can help her. And if you go astray, she will find it. Yes. So this is actually what I went on board when I read. Look how they've drawn the Arab. Yeah, yeah they've drawn yeah. him very nicely. Yeah. <laughs> And then by the end of it, look, he's in tears. If we get to the end, he becomes a Christian. You know, they've explained to him. And I read it and I was like, 
No, that's it's st stereotyping, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very stereotyping in Morocco. And, and I don't know nothing about Islam. And I'm like, SubhanAllah. You, know, you see, uh, see Allah, has, Allah guided the brother into Islam. And look at your, I'm, I'm, I'm re emphasizing the point, but like, you made a good point. You've got to put your heart into it. Yeah, so but you know what we. If you don't go into something with your full heart, that's fine. it's never going to work. That's fine. But what we say to you, as long as it's made sense to you, yeah. perhaps you can watch, you know, this is being recorded. Perhaps you can go back tonight and watch it with your sister, with your daughter, love, on these YouTube channels. Oh, what YouTube channels? With those brothers, they have the YouTube channel. If you don't want to be, you know, no, we can blur, blur it, we can blur you out. No, cool, you're, you're cool with it. Blur, so tonight, blur. when you go home, yes, you, you want your daughter to be blurred out. Blur it anyway. So let so them make the decision. No, yes. No, yeah. Anyway, we got a journal. Sisters, we blur. Okay. So it's not even a question. That's fine. Blur them. Excellent. Yes, best. You can go home and reflect on the conversation. If you note, have you got a mobile? Yeah. yeah? Excellent. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, all you're going to do on go to YouTube. I'm going to tell you to subscribe to free channels, and you can watch our conversation. What we've had. It will. Reason being, it will give you a chance to reflect on what we've said, see if it makes sense, and you know it will go out to a wide audience, but you won't be seen. The brothers made a good point. We blur, usually we blur out females. So we'll, 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 for, for sure we'll blur out your daughter. If you're happy to be on it, so be it. But if you're not, we, I mean, we can blur you out. But that's the usual re prerequisite. So now I would strongly hasten for you to reflect. Have you got, so if you bring your phone out, I'll tell you the channels that you can go back, reflect on the, what we've spoken about uh, tonight or whenever you're available, you know, sit down together and it should be a good, good um, a reflection for you. No, you need to be in your room. Yeah. Okay. So you want to type? Okay, let me type it in for you. I can't well, put makeup on it. So I'm, I'm, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna subscribe for you, yeah? I can't put makeup on it because I've got to do the new. So one. you should get a notification when the video is uploaded. I'll give you another one channel. If you want another brother who uh, does it pretty quick. There's a few channels, so we'll tell, tell them all to blur, because we have a policy anyway. You blur, oh, yes, blur sisters. Yeah. Here's, here's yours truly speaking to an English lady earlier on. Her three sons have become uh, are Muslims. They come, uh, their, parent, their father is from East Africa, so she's looking into it seriously as well. That's the, that's the mum. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so I've yeah, added I'll I've added these free subscriptions for you. Okay. So what you can do now is uh, so just reflect on what we've spoken about. We're here regularly. If you want to come by again with your no, with your child, <laughs> oh good. Okay, love, bless you. You got a blessed child. child. I'll tell you something. Your Thank child you. is blessed. Okay, Thank you. have a great bye. evening. Bye. bye bye. Take care. Bye. Alhamdulillah, very pleasant conversation with your lovely mother and daughter. And the daughter is only nine years of age, and Allah has guided her to Islam. We've spoken to the mother as well, so inshallah she'll go home and reflect by watching these, um, uh, these uh, the discussions that we've had. So may Allah guide her and inshallah um, we'll hear from more, more from them soon. Assalamu alaikum.